prop. Three five two Tango Delta, but off the ground. Way three five taxi via Alpha. Wind three six zero at four. Altimeter three zero zero eight. Runway three five by Alpha. Three five two Tango Delta. All right, looks like we're going down to three five today. I was hoping I could be on one seven, but yesterday the wind was like this from the north and. It's like that again, it's only four knots. But it's not gusting or anything like that, it's very calm, so it should be alright. Give me a chance to uh, see how my tracking is when I taxi down here. See if that shim on that left wheel has uh, made a difference. So far, I'm able to keep it on center line just with a little bit of rudder, no brake. So, this is where I was having the problem down here before. Now it seems to be tracking pretty good right now. So maybe that's fixed the problem. Actually surprising, just a little bit of rudder even here, just 14 knots of ground speed is enough to just help me pull it around if it starts to wander one way or another. Chapter 2, Tangle Delta, Zulu 35, I see taxi approved. I actually uh, like to have the option if you don't mind, um, to Tango Delta. Delta, yeah, I'd like to have the option. I'm going to do a high-speed taxi, but I'm attempting to, to get it into ground effect. Chapter 2, Tango Delta, proceed as requested. Uh, clear for the option 2, Tango Delta, uh, runway 3-5.
Roger, 2, can you get Delta, Delta, stay attention. I'd like to take you back to the north ramp. Roger, 2, Tango, Tango, Delta, taxi to the north ramp via Alpha. North ramp via Alpha, 2, Tango, Delta. Alright, so admittedly not my most graceful takeoff or landing, but let me go through it. Um, what, what I was thinking in here at 50% normal speed. So as I was uh, taxiing out here, um, the nose was starting to get light around about 90 knots, and I wanted to make sure that it actually came off this time, so I actually helped it just a little bit there, and got it to rotate, and then I corrected down maybe a little bit too much. The mains touched again, the nose didn't touch though. And then it came airborne. I'd also pulled the throttle off uh, after the first lift off there. And at this point, it just wanted to keep flying just with its own momentum. So I just concentrated on uh, just, you know, flying the aircraft. I drifted a little bit off to the right. So I dropped the left wing a bit to compensate. And so the left main gear came down first. And ultimately, I was back on the ground. So I covered about a thousand feet of ground and got about three feet off the ground. So. Not the greatest, um, you know, performance, but safely on the ground and, you know, any landing that you can use the aircraft again is a great one. All right, so I learned a few things from this. First of all, the aircraft is stable in pitch when it's airborne, as you can see here. This is at, um, you know, 20% uh, speed now. And it was in stable in roll as well. Any of the roll inputs were ones that I um, induced. And what was also interesting is when the mains touched down both times, it didn't uh, force the aircraft to rotate and slam the nose into the ground. So I was pretty happy with that. So I've learned a bunch of things. And um, I guess the next thing is to probably just take it into ground effect a few more times, just being careful before thinking about a proper first flight. So all good so far. And lastly, I had promised that once the aircraft had had its first flight, I'd take the plastic off the seat. So there you go. That's the reward or my reward for actually completing the first flight. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and um, yeah, have fun sort of, uh, you know, nailing me to the cross in the comments. I don't mind, I can take it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.